Hi there, I'm Terry, and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today we're working on a collaboration with Renee from Pike Creek Farm called 12 Days of Christmas Indulgence. Now, as I was growing up in the South, indulgence for us for the holidays was a big bowl of nuts in the shell. We had walnuts and hazelnuts and Brazil nuts, almonds with a nutcracker and picks. And that was sitting out on the coffee table and you'd sit there and you'd go through the nuts. And that was a real indulgence for us because you didn't have them any other time of the year. This is a sort of a play on that because we're gonna use some nuts and that we're gonna use walnuts in this case and we're gonna make some candied walnuts. They're wonderful to have out as a dish for um, an appetizer table, part of your charcuterie board or even just as a snack anytime. So let's get started. In a medium sized bowl, we're gonna to put together what's gonna to be the glaze for the walnuts. I need one egg white, I need one third cup of light brown sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. It's gonna add that nice warm seasoning that goes along with the holidays. We're gonna mix these ingredients together till they're well blended. Then I have two cups of walnut halves. This package is really nice. It's almost all whole walnut halves. If you have one that has pieces instead of whole ones, it still works fine. It still tastes wonderful. This just looks a little nicer when you put it on a tray. Pour that into your mixture with the egg white and toss it until everything is well coated. You can easily increase this recipe, multiply it as many times as you want. You could even put it in small decorative jars to give it some gifts. I have a baking tray here that I've already prepared with some parchment paper. I'm just going to pour our walnuts on it and spread them out as evenly as we can. Make sure you get all of that glaze. Try and make sure that we have them in one layer. Now we're gonna put it in a preheated 350 degree oven for seven to 10 minutes. Once your walnuts are out of the oven, you wanna put them on a wire tray in the pan so that they have a chance to cool. You want them to cool completely. And you can see how they've solidified. Once they've cooled, they will even more so. At that point, we'll break them apart, put them in a serving dish, and we'll be all set. That's our contribution to your indulgence for Christmas. Be sure and stop by all the other channels. Renee will have them listed on a playlist at her site at Pike Creek Farm. And she's also having a drawing at the end of her collaboration so be sure and leave a comment so that you're gonna be included in that drawing pool. This easy recipe is in the description box below, as well as a link so that you can print it out and have it ready for your holidays. See you next time. Mm -hmm.